guys, it's Angel. Today we're gonna to be making a bitter melon soup in an instant pot. Now this soup is something that my grandparents used to make all the time for us. It's super delicious, very simple, easy to make. And if you haven't had bitter melon before, it's got kind of a bitter, almost medicinal type taste. I really like it and it's got kind of a cooling effect, which is really nice in the summer months. So with that, let's get started. This soup is super simple with only three ingredients. The first is pork spare ribs, and I'm using about a pound of pork spare ribs here. Try and find pork spare ribs because they have the bones in them, which will make the broth more flavorful. Next, we'll need some bitter melon. And I like to use about two cups of bitter melon in this recipe, and one bitter melon about this size, which is a medium to large, should give you about two cups of bitter melon. And finally, some salt. And I like to use about half a teaspoon of salt, but feel free to salt to taste. The first thing we'll wanna do is cut and clean our bitter melon. And if you've never worked with bitter melon before, there are seeds inside, so we'll need to clean those out. First, start by cutting off the ends. I'm just gonna trim the ends off and slice it right down the center. And now you can see that there are seeds inside which we'll need to remove. You can use a fork or a spoon to remove it, and I'm just going to use a spoon. So let's take a spoon and scrape the seeds out from the inside. Continue to scrape until it's fairly clean. And that's what it should look like when it's clean on the inside. So I like to slice the bitter melon how my grandparents liked it in their soup, which is just bigger chunks like this. They're about one inch thick. Feel free to slice your bitter melon slices thinner. And we're done. Now I'm just going to put the bitter melon in a bowl and then we can blanch our meat. Now we're going to clean our pork and we're going to do this by boiling. So I've gone ahead and put the pork spare ribs here in this pot and we're just going to fill it up with water. Now we'll just bring the water to a boil and we're gonna let the pork boil for one to two minutes and this will help clean the pork and remove the impurities. Now that the water's boiling, you can see that the pork scum and the impurities have come to the top. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take out the pork ribs and put them directly into my Instant Pot insert. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the insert directly into the Instant Pot. Next, what we'll do is fill the Instant Pot with water and I'm going to fill it up to the halfway line mark. And you can see that here, there's a line in there. Now I'm going to fill it up with water. Now we'll add our salt and I'm using about half a teaspoon of salt. I would recommend you start with half a teaspoon or less if you want and then you can add more later. Now we'll just cover the Instant Pot Set the vent to seal, and here are my settings. We're gonna go pressure cook on high for 15 minutes and less. And once that's set, we're gonna let the pork bones cook first and then we'll add our bitter melon later. Now that the timer's done, we're going to go ahead and open the vent. This might take a while. <laughs> Okay, now let's open the lid and check on our soup. Oh, wow. So what I like to do is give it just a quick stir and I'm gonna do a quick taste test to check for salt. Mm. It's good. It's a really light, clean tasting soup and there's just the right amount of salt. Now we're just going to add in our bitter melon to cook it off. And if there's any remaining space left, go ahead and fill it all the way up with water. So here the Instant Pot has a maximum line. 
That way we can have more soup. Okay, and now we're just gonna put the lid on and cook the bitter melon. And I'm just going to set that for pressure cook. High, five minutes. And less. Okay, my Instant Pot timer just went off, so you can feel free to let it sit and do a natural release, or you can do the quick release because we wanna drink our soup now. So let's lift the lid and take a look. Wow. Hmm, I can smell the bitter melon. It's kinda herbal smelling, it's nice. Now for the taste test. So the soup is super hot out from the Instant Pot, so make sure you let it cool before you drink some. But I am just going to try a little bit of the bitter melon. So if you guys haven't had bitter melon before, it does have kind of an herbal taste, and I wanna say medicinal, but it's actually pretty good. Maybe it's an acquired taste, but it's really cooling, especially in summer months. I'm gonna try a little bit of the pork. Mmm, that's really tender. And we'll try a little bit of the soup. What I love about this soup is that it's nice, clear broth, and it's just a really clean tasting soup. Super healthy. Mmm. <laughs> it's definitely how grandma makes it. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's soup recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as my grandpa would say, sharing a meal with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. So until we can share some soup together, take care, I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.